Good morning! Happy Thursday! This is Teacher Katie and this is the Preschool Project. I'm so glad you guys have come along to hang out with us today. Today we are working on the letter bum 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 X and X goes X X X. Can you make that sound? X X X. X. And X is for X-ray and we made oh, I almost dropped them and we made some x-ray pictures yesterday. If you would like to go back to la yesterday's pictures, you can go back and check them out and it will be super, super fun. But if not, that's totally okay too. We also been talking about x-ray fish and we made a box um, the day before because you know what? At the end of the word box makes the x sound. So we have the number six that makes the x sound and box. And we have uh, fox. <laughs> so these, all these words have the x sound at the end of the word. So we have our x-ray, our x-ray fish. Also, xylophone starts with the letter x, but it's a tricky one. It sounds like a z, z, but it actually starts with the letter x. Sometimes there's just weird words in English. All right, let's get working on our letter x. So I'm going to make a little star and a little moon. We're going to start at the star. We are going to make a slide, which is a diagonal line. And we're just going to start here and make a slide. If you'd like to, you can put a little dot if that's helpful for you. You can put a little dot just like that. You're going to go to the moon and do another slide just like that. So it's two steps, super easy. Slide, slide. Two slides and you got the letter X. Nice job. We are also working on the number 24. So let me write that. Let's erase our X. And our 24 looks like this. Here's our 2 and here is our 4. So I'm going to make a star and a moon and a star and a moon. We're going to start here at our star. It's kind of like a backward C. I call it a rainbow. Here's our magic rainbow. And then we are going to make a little line and I call it a little road. There we go. There's our two. Two steps. Two steps. Nice and easy. Number four, you start at the star and you are going to go down the ladder. Little road. And then you're going to go down a really big ladder. So again, we're going to go down a little ladder. And there's our little road, and then we go down a big ladder. So we got 24. 24. So 24 looks like this. Boop, boop, boop. If I can grab them all. I have I have my two tens. Remember, it's my ones. They're stacked up together. They're glued together. And we have 10 and 20. So there's my two tens. And then there is my four my four ones. Another way to think about it, to think about the number, to think about the number 24 is by using our hands. So if I use my hands, that is 10. And then if I put up my toes, oh my goodness. If I put up my toes, can I reach them? Ah. <laughs> I don't know. There's my toe, there's one toe. <laughs> There's my other toe. Oh, they're not quite tall enough. Poor teacher Katie. She doesn't have very tall toes. There's, there we go. So we have 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20. We have 20. And then can you give me four fingers at your house? Four fingers. Nice. So we have 10, or 5, 10, <laughs> 15, 20. And then plus your four is 24. Phew. We did it. <laughs> 24 is a hard number, isn't it? <laughs> so you can use your fingers and your toes and ask somebody else if you could borrow some of their fingers and toes too. <laughs> so that is another way to make 24. We're giving really big numbers, aren't we? Yesterday was Wild Wiggly Wednesday and I wiggled my arm 24 times. My arm got very tired. Today is Thunder Thursday and I love th Thunder Thursday because we get to make thunder. Are you guys ready? So you can either go like this or you can snap and then we're gonna go into a clap, a pat, and then stomp our feet. Are you guys ready? Here we go. I'm gonna snap, clap, pat, and stomp. It's Thunder Thursday! Yay! Whew. Should we do it again? 
think we should do it again. Here we go. Ready? Snap, clap, pass, Thursday! Yes, I think that was better. <laughs> Woo, look how far we went. We went all the way from Monday all the way to Thursday. Whew. We are fast. We are fast this week. <laughs> All right, let's sing our song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we say the end. All right, so today I have something exciting. Are you ready? Doom, do, do. So I was thinking I was thinking that we could make xylophones. So xylophones are really easy to make. Basically, you make rectangles. Remember, xylophone sounds like it starts with the letter Z, but it's a tricky one. Sometimes there are words that try to trick us. So basically, we are going to start with a really tall, really big um, rectangle, and then a medium rectangle, and then one that's just a little bit smaller and just a little bit smaller and just a little bit smaller you just keep getting smaller and smaller rainbows rainbows <laughs> you get smaller and smaller rectangles i don't know why i said rainbows <laughs> you could make them rainbow color though so once you have all your little rectangles you can kind of connect them together with little lines do 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 there we go i'm going to connect mine with the little lines and xylophones make really cool sounds. If you have time, you could ask your um, grown-up to see if you could watch a video about xylophones. Some people are very talented at playing xylophones. When I was in kindergarten, my kindergarten teacher played xylophone and she played it really well. And she played a cleanup song with it. And we sang the cleanup song and we cleaned up the whole classroom. And it was always very fun. So we are going to make our own. So you can either cut out pieces of paper to make your xylophone. I think I'm gonna cut out pieces of paper and make a rainbow xylophone because I think that would be fun. You could draw it. You could even go outside and draw it with chalk if you'd like. And these are the little sticks that you hit the um, xylophone with to make the noise. Well, I hope you had fun and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody.